What's up guys? Welcome back to our video and as you can see My mongoose grape is behind me Cállate taco! What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and as you can see I got the mongoose grape behind me Set up with cameras and everything because we're about to do a trail review Before I do as usual, please subscribe turn the notification bell on all that good stuff and if you want to become a channel member, you can do that as well. Otherwise, check the affiliate links in the description below for everything I'm going to be talking about. And uh, other than that, let's ride. One, two, three. So right off the bat, because I want to get that camera angle out of the way for the front derailleur let's talk about the front derailleur so over here i don't know how well this is gonna be vibrating a lot because this is a gravel bike so there's no shifter i mean there's no fork so the shifter is right here and it has brake and shift it included into that and uh, was the, something that we know right off the bat is that uh, when you are in the higher gear that means the smallest cog or all the way on the other side to the biggest cog on the rear the change line shifts a little bit and when you have a derailleur at the front it can cause a little bit of rolling and this is something that i kind of wanted to talk about so right now i'm at the lower so you were listening to a little bit of rubbing off the chain i'm on the uh one to the largest dog at the rear so it was doing a little bit of rubbing so what does that mean let me shift to the smaller chain ring at the front and this shifter is kind of like a two stroke so you can play with the shifting to the rear to the smallest cog and it'll be a little bit of rubbing but you can play with the double kind of with the double uh, stroke or double throw that it has it's, it's kind of like a half a throw i want to say and uh it just moves the, the the railer a little bit to the in the in between position and that kind of helps it with the rubbing so i'm gonna shift to the largest chain ring at the front right now and i'm currently at the smallest cog at the rear so right now there's no rubbing issues whatsoever that's half a stroke i'm not all the way if i do the other stroke it moves the derailleur a little bit more and it kind of helps so let me let me so i'm all the way full strokes on the front derailleur smallest cog at the rear largest cog at the front let me switch to the smallest uh to the largest cog in the rear where you're gonna be able to hear some of the rubbing or maybe even see the chain rubbing so let me do that real quick so right there there is a little bit of rubbing on the derailleur so if i kind of shift down half a throw takes care of that problem and i think that is a really really nice feature of this shimano tourney derailleur combined with a micro shift shifter they do a good good job now for the rear derailleur this is the shifter right here and uh, again the brake lever is integrated which is good i guess that's the way it goes on drop bars and uh let me go down to the smallest cog and you use the the half shifter right here to go to the smallest dog and you go one by one 
Now if you want to move to the bigger cogs, the, the lower gears, you can do one by one or you can do like a long throw and it moves like three at a time. So if you want to quickly shift when you're climbing, it moves three at a time. So with two throws, you're almost at the largest cog. Now, since we're still talking about shifting, let's talk about the rear derailleur and the rear freewheel. Because just with bare minimal readjustment, micro adjustment, if you have your shifting set up properly, this thing shifts super fast, super nice, and super smooth. Remember, this is a Shimano turning derailleur, if I'm not mistaken, in the front and the rear. And the uh, the freewheel is a Shimano Mega Range. It's not Pro Rush or any of those uh, low end brands. It is actually a Shimano. And he makes that, uh, and the noise that he makes is very nice, very nice. Does not feel or sound cheap. It's not wobbly. It's a really nice quality. But this thing shifts really, really good. The only drawback, if you want to call that, is that it's a two by. Coming from a mountain bike, modern bike, mountain bikes, I got really used to the one by system. Now let's talk about these uh, Kenda tires because something that I know or that I've been told for road bikes, this is a road adventure bike. That's how it's advertised. And I can kind of see that. However, these tires, they have, they have bread. So they're gripping really good. They're thin, 700 by 40 millimeters thick or wide. And something that my dad always told me because he has always had a road bike. He used to ride back in the day. But something that I have always had in my mind is that you gotta have high pressure tires. I mean, a lot of pressure on these tires for them to actually roll nice. And uh, I did not take it lightly on this one. He has tubes. But I think I put in about 70 PSI. And they're cutting through the gravel like it's no like butter. Like compared to my uh, mountain bike tires, this thing is just it's just riding like nothing. Super easy. Zero rolling resistance. Well I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna say zero but very very little rolling resistance on the gravel road pretty sure the single track it'll be the same thing now droppers an advantage you don't have to even twist the uh, handlebar because they fit <laughs> that's kind of cool I guess and yes I'm not wearing my helmet because I'm just it's a quick workout because I'm just riding to my mother-in-law's house. I'm gonna meet my wife over there. And I took advantage and do this review because I did a little bit of gravel and I'm about to do some paved road. But so far, very, very nice. That double throw if you aren't sure if you like i said if you dial it correctly your front derailleur with the double throw 
or the, the half throws that he has, you will not hear any chain rubbing whatsoever. And with a combination of the two chain rings at the front and the seven different gears at the rear, you have plenty, plenty of gears right here for any type of scenario. The only thing I don't like about the rear, uh, the rear freewheel is that the higher gear, the smallest cog, is only four. It's a 14 tooth uh, cog. And I don't like that. Because if you know, on road bikes, some of them have a small cog as of nine tooth. I would have been happy with 11. And this, is, this goes for all of the free wheels for all of the swings lately, the mongoose lately, they need to do something better about those free wheels because you can't get very high speeds as is, and I don't like that. Like right now, higher on the front, higher at the, at the rear, going 20 miles per hour. If I had a smaller chain ring as small as a uh, cog at the rear could have probably be going as fast as 24, 25 with no issues. Now let me tell you something else. I'm currently on the uh, paved path over here. And uh, I'm already four miles in. And I gotta say, I don't feel a tad tired whatsoever. It's gonna be, now, remember, I mostly ride my mountain bike in the trails and all that. So I cannot compare, well I can compare the different type of uh, exercise that you're getting over here. Because you're not doing, you're going much, fast, much faster. The bike is way lighter. Oh, by way lighter, I'm talking about maybe three, four pounds. But the rolling resistance and your aerodynamic position, it just feels good. Now, I know there's a lot of haters out there that gravel roads blah 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 i don't care i mean i have my mountain bikes i have my e-bike that i hardly ride and now this is something different and now it wouldn't have been the same making a hardtail into a gravel bike because the geometry is different this is purposely made like this. The uh, head tube angles is different. It's much steeper. But it's designed that way. Because you're most of the time on flat surfaces. Riding like this is cruising getting high speeds putting a workout and having a blast they do advertise her like a adventure bike kind of like for bike packing things like that that i would love to do however i'm not on a region to do that where am i gonna go Houston is so huge. There's no backpacking. There's no forest. Can't do that shit in here. I wish though. So why did I get this bike? I think I already covered that on the previous video where I talk about this bike. And that's just for 
occasions like this when it's wet can ride the trail i can still ride and doing it doing so more efficiently on a bike that is meant for these type of rides now for less than 400 dollars well 409 with taxes Now, something that I haven't talked about is the brakes. They're not that good. I know I still have to readjust them because the new cables, you know, they're always stretched in the first few rides. So you gotta readjust them regardless. But even so, and this is something new to me because the way the handlebar is, the drop bar, the shifter and brake, uh, they're combined. And I've been doing a little bit of research with mechanic, uh, hydraulic brakes. There are available. However, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. Now, if some of you know more about this drop bar, shifter brake combos something affordable but it's good let me know this is something like i said this is something new to me it works for now and uh i'm not going any distance my area i don't think i'm gonna have any issues whatever so i'm okay like right like this right now I don't see any need to do any improvements right off the box, except for the pedals. And uh, I'm five and a half miles in the saddle. I think the saddle is gonna be a problem, but that's an easy fix. I have a bike chamois that I can wear I just put in one of the saddles that I have or actually buy another one because those are very comfortable as you know I have them on all my bikes but now something that I do have to get used to is the drop bar the positions because when you're here can't break really well so i don't know if you can see this because the brake is right here so you actually have to hold yourself like this so that you can break you can shift from this position shifting is very comfortable shifting is better in this position now Another thing that I don't know, widths. Is there any wider drop bars? I would like to do that because I'm used to the 780s. Maybe something two inches wider that flares out more. It'll put me in a better position, I guess. You can also put your hands like this, put your hands like this, put your hands, drop your body drop your body and just get some speed well what can i say i really like this bike for less than 400 dollars plus taxes 409 if it's still available for that sale price and you're looking for something different something that is that you're gonna use for what it is I can highly recommend this bike. It is doing everything that it's supposed to. Out of the box. Out of the box. I don't really think if you're like me and you're just gonna use it for this purpose, I don't really believe that you gotta do any, any upgrades whatsoever. So if you like this bike, 
and if you want to get something like this check the affiliate links in the description below i'll leave it in there for you if you're new like missing to this type of rides i don't know share your experiences with me let me know what you think in the description uh, on the comments below give me your ideas your thoughts if you're more experienced in this type of rides in this type of bikes again give me your input your ideas what would you recommend because this is something new for me so i really like i said I, I don't have anything bad to say about this bike the price the looks the quality the internal car cable routing i think it's a great great bike for the price if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment share share in social media it'll help a lot, a lot. if you want to support the channel different way check the links in the description below other than that that's it for today and i'll see you on the next one let's ride goodbye